getting ready for the jump at midcourt. Chris Brandon for the Titans. Amir Sims wins it for Clemson. We're underway. First ever meeting between these two programs. Troy Mercy, a Horizon League member, the conference that Brad Brownell, the Tigers head coach, worked in before he arrived in Clemson. And Tevin Mack, who had a fine game last Sunday. Dayton in the NCAA tourney in 2011. Saved from going out. Under 10 of the shot clock. Sims. Nice touch by Amir Sims. He had 12 points, 8 rebounds against Colgate last Sunday. Five on the shot clock. Isiani. Another miss for the Titans. Battling inside. Brandon and a strong move back to the hoop. So Davis, obviously the focal point of the Tigers. Every team he faces, that'll be the case. Newman inside. Got in the air. Sims right there to finish. Some giving the ball away to Miller, but at the bottom of your screen. Kid named Calipari, Brad Calipari. Feed inside Miller. Nice finish by Chris Brandon. Keep in mind, Detroit Mercy out-rebounded NC State, which is supposed to be pretty good at rebounding, by seven in their loss in Raleigh last week, 84-65. Yeah, More from the right elbow. I can see why uh, this 1-3-1 one, one zone will make you or it. And the Titans have a chance to tie this thing up or take their first lead. Davis. Miller. Gets the friendly bounce. He has played in this building before, and that's our first lead change. The kick to Dawes. Alamir Dawes, just four out of 16 on three-pointers coming in. Sims out high. The Titans bench thought he traveled and said Hunter knocks down the tray, and Mike Davis calls for the timeout. Tigers on a 6-0 run to build this five-point lead. Dawes the steal ahead to Sims. Still Miller. Tigers again using defense to create offense. And Sims, get him in the open court. Body I've seen all year long. He is a long 6-7, as you saw the miss by Scott. Davis looking for his first, and that's why we've got a bunch of NBA scouts in the building here this afternoon. Pete, that was deep. With a man in his face, too. Scott keeps it alive. Mack, who should be Clemson's top scorer, and is so far this young season and this afternoon with five points against Colgate. Dawes defending Davis, the combination we thought we would see in the man-to-man -man. from the corner. Marquise Moore. It's a great assist by Davis that time. Tyson from the corner. Hunter Tyson, he can be a factor. Georgia in Europe. Willie Isiani. Davis. <laughs> Almost as if it's a normal drill for him. Off balance, free throw line with the right hand that time. Point shooter, but he's got game. He's got game. Not only is uh, can he penetrate, put the ball on the floor. Ironically, you were talking about Cliff Ellis. One of the assistants for Detroit Mercy, Tracy D uh, Dildy, was an assistant to Cliff Ellis at Auburn. Hit some shots today. Hunter Tyson did so moments ago. Sims, contact. These days you might get a flop called on that. It's going to be one that you see called less and less as the season goes on because it really is tough to judge intent. Off the dribble and Hunter for Clemson learning just what Antoine Davis can do so quickly. Ask for anything more as a defender. Nice job by Chase Hunter who gets to pick up a foul. Look at the pass by Max Sims with a nice move. APR violation. They are appealing, so they hope that they'll win that and be able to play in the Horizon League tournament and possibly get that league bid to the NCAAs. It's Curran Scott knocking down the jumper. Pete, I've always believed basketball games are won and lost in the paint and on the free throw line. Well, against Colgate, Clemson had 46 points in the paint. This bucket part of a 10 to 6 differential in points in the paint. Tyson again from the right corner. Hunter Tyson draining another tray for this Clemson team. That's big, and he's got 10 points. Harry giving it away to Moore. And stepping in front is Hunter on the run out. Oh, he tried to throw it down. And the follow by Tevin Mack. Good job of Tevin Mack following it up. Mack now with seven. Tigers playing the fourth of five home games to start this 2019 and 20 campaign. One of the stats that jumps out at me, Pete, is uh, that's only the fourth assist by Detroit Mercy in this game. Great job 
LeGrand knocked it away, and Antoine Davis turns it into quick points. It's the 1-3-1. There's a big gap in the middle of that hole. You're trying to find the holes in the zone. Dawes, nice look inside, and Sims with the finish. Tigers answer the 6-0 Detroit Mercy run with four straight points of their own. Strong move to the hole, the scoop and the score, Alande LeGrand. Left baseline, Tevin Mack running into LeGrand on the putback, and Mack showing you some strength at 6'6", 227. We'll figure afternoon now with 11 points. Knocked away from Davis, good job. Dawes forcing the action, Hunter gives it back to him. Mack. Kevin Mack drains another three. The Tigers leader from beyond the arc at 41%. 363 wins. His son feeds the baseline. Justin Miller can't finish, but Chris Brandon there to tip it in. And now here he is. Coaching the Horizon League. His son Antoine feeding underneath Miller with the left-handed finish. The big fella wanted the foul called as well, but nothing doing there. Stepped in front of the pass. Davis, no look. Lob and the dunk try. No good. Other end, Sims. Little step through as he goes around more. Say it's not understating things to say as a wide body. You got to worry about him with the paint. It's going to probably free up that guy right there from the wing, although does it really matter how many you have defending? Antoine Davis, who's right. getting close to a 20-point day. Can't get that one to go. Newman, the offensive rebound. And look at the job by Antoine Davis. Great steal through traffic ahead. And Brandon with the finish. The assists are going up quickly. Turnovers in the last four minutes. Amir Sims. Underneath, nice find, nice finish. Hunter Tyson on the feed from Amir Sims. His high school days, Antoine Davis instead headed to the Motor City. Sims no the first time. Extra effort helps. Kelvin Sampson, the head coach at uh, for the Houston Cougars. Yep. That's his best so far this season. Strong move inside Miller. That's just what they want. See it again. Sims looking low, and that time Davis steps in front. The turnover by the Tigers. Davis weaves, kicks from the corner, and it'll go. Just like that, again, a six-point, two-possession game. Hunter Tyson, big answer for the junior. He sets the shot clock. Oh, and the pass across, knocked away, and stolen by Mack. Count it, and he's fouled. Davis, nice idea, but into traffic. He was trying to push it inside to Gidjul. Other end, more no. Jemison. That's the deficit back to 12. Coming out of the timeout, here they come with their uh, trapping. That was a great job of passing by Clemson. Wow, Moore and Newman. and Here's the isolation again. 16-point advantage, Clemson's biggest. Her first move by Miller. Nice touch by the big guy. Points came. Clemson, no doubt, looking to work a little bit of clock. From the outside, count it! And a four-point play opportunity for John Newman. He's got a double-double. 13 points and now a dozen boards for Justin Miller. Davis forcing it, and Newman might have bailed him out with that rejection out of bounds. This player that can pass the basketball is worth her weight and go. Mack. Pretty nice move. Awesome. On a court where Antoine Davis has shown us a variety of his, but... And then scrambling inside, Chris Brandon lost the handle, and he gives it up. Mack. Step through. No. More the follow. <laughs> but uh, Dabo Sweeney's birthday is the 20th of November, coming up on Thursday. Wednesday. When we'll be doing uh, the Tigers, or Wednesday, I believe. I've got, uh, you're right, I'm sorry. We've got the Tigers on Thursday, the 21st. Yeah, Wednesday. Alabama A&M, the Tiger women have a game coming up with Alabama. State that we'll have for you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Men against Alabama A&M in here Thursday. What he averaged a season ago, 26.1. Interestingly, interestingly, Pete, he has a double-double tonight. Yes, he does. It's uh, one of those leagues where you go into some arenas aren't that big. Look at Tyson trying for a 20-point game, and the extra effort gets him there for the first time as a collegiate. Here's Will. 
dribble down the final seconds. Their first ever meeting with Detroit Mercy will go down as a 22-point, 87-65.